I get a little confused sometimes with what the choice should be when you're looking at like epidural versus spinal. What's the difference as far as what cases can be done with each each one? They're very, in a way, they're very similar because they're both what we call neural axial anesthesia. So they're both providing an anesthesia at that level at spinal cord. And it is that complete anesthetic, almost a complete anesthetic because it will provide profound analgesia and it will also provide loss of motor control, which will lead to our akinesia. The primary difference, Vic, is really the time. That's what most of us will only will, will really look at is the time. So a spinal anesthetic, the way we're commonly practicing in the United States is we use bupivacaine. That's going to generally last about three hours. Now we can change the doses and we can make those look work work for less amount of time, but really we're probably looking at about three hours for surgical anesthesia and probably another hour or so of urinary retention. Now, if it's going to be longer than that, and you really don't want to do a general anesthetic, you can do that epidural. That epidural gives you that catheter so you can continually dose that catheter throughout. There are, there are people that do spinal catheters. That is a technique where you can kind of get the best of both worlds. That's kind of an advanced procedure that's not necessarily routinely done. I do know people who do that and they do that very well. But for the most part, the only big difference that we're going to look at is duration of the procedure. Now, if we're doing a very large urology case, like I gave the example of the cystectomy, we might place that epidural to help us give less opioid during the operation. I